Hello and welcome to my channel. You join me here at Blackstone Reservoir. I hope you're all feeling strong and I'm continuing my search for the Stanza Stones. These are all quite local to me, so I thought while we were uh, restricted on our movements, I would just uh, bring you some vlogs that are local to me and I hope you're interested. So the Stanza Stones, if you look at my previous vlog on the, on the snow stone, which was the first one that I found, um, you'll know what it's all about. I'll put some more information in the description below, but we're looking for a poem that is carved into a rock face. And today's is called The Rainstone. So we've got a beautiful view of Manchester and closer is uh, Littleborough. Wonderful day today, very clear. Now, I don't know exactly where this uh, stone is, where the carving of the poetry is. It's called the rain stone and that's because the poem is of course about rain. All the poems are about water in a different state and um, that's what uh, the theme of the poems are. So uh, yeah, we're looking for an old quarry. A lot of these poems are in quarries obviously because there's a lot of stone there to, to work on. So yeah, an old quarry is what we're looking for again. And uh, hopefully we will find it. I haven't looked too much into it. Part of the fun is that you have to actually search for them. Of course, you could do a lot of research and find out exactly where they are. I haven't done that because I like the enjoyment and I hope you do of uh, seeing if I can actually find it. And it improves my uh, map reading skills, <laughs> which I'm gonna need on the coast to coast. So if you have stumbled upon this video because of the G9 camera, and that's what I'm recording on, the Lumix G9, excellent camera. I am recording this vlog with stabilization off because I've got the eight to 18 millimeter wide angle lens. And I'm just experimenting today with uh, whether it's worth putting the stabilization on at all. Uh, with such a wide angle lens because it should be pretty decent. So just to let you know, in case that was the reason that you were watching it and you weren't interested at all in the stands of stone, at least you can get some footage of uh, vlogging on the G9 with the stabilization off. So back to the stone, we're looking for a uh, rocky outcrop and I think I found it, it's over. Over there, we're heading over there, and I do believe that that's where, somewhere in there, uh, is the carving of the poem, so we're not so far away. Now, Simon Armitage, the poet that created these poems, uh, he came here um, many times, and uh, he's often come here when it has been raining, and this poem is called Rain, and that's why it's called The Rainstone. Uh, thankfully, there's going to be no rain today. It's a gorgeous day, but something tells me that it might have been pretty cool to have come here when it is raining uh, and it would be really atmospheric and maybe uh, the poem would take on its true meaning. And then I thought again, I thought, no, I'm really happy that it's uh, sunny. <laughs> oh yes, I do want to just apologize. At some point I am going to be putting my shades on. I'm not really a big fan of wearing shades, but I have realized I've got to protect my eyes from the sun. So uh, I will be putting my shades on. So I do apologize for that. You won't be able to see my old eyes. Hooray! Now, I did get a comment on my last vlog on the stanza stone uh, saying that uh, could I not have put the poem in? And I did put it in the description below, so it has been there all the time. Uh, you just need to scroll down and it's a short poem called Snow. It's titled Snow and that is the actual poem that is carved into the stone. And I'll do the same for all the stanza stones that I visit. I will put the actual poem in the description below because you can't always see it as a pan um, over the poem but uh, you could use pause and maybe, uh, maybe do it that way. But it's not always easy so I do put it in the description below.
Well, this is an amazing place. I'm really glad I've come and I hope you are enjoying the vlog so far. Haven't found the stone yet, haven't found the rain stone yet, but I've spotted the quarry down there and we will be having a look down there in a moment. But it's a beautiful place, beautiful day as well. I've picked the right day. It's not too hot. I'm sure it looks hot on the video, but a uh, little fly just crawled across the lens there. There's, a, there's a, quite a lot of flies about, I've got to say. <laughs> Let's get that off. So we've got the quarry down there and I'm going to take you down there in a moment. And I think that is where we will find the rainstone. Now, I don't know whether you can see it, but uh, in these rocks and in the peat, there's uh, little bits of grit shining and that is uh, quartz crystal. And that's all that's left of previous grit stone that's been washed away. So this is the hardest grit stone of all the stanza stones that they had to carve the poems into. And uh, the tungsten chisel was broken on many occasions. This quarry is really popular with rock climbers and you can see why and uh, it's taken me quite a while to actually find a way down into here safely without uh, breaking my ankle. So yeah, we're, uh, we're in the quarry now and the stone is in here somewhere. So uh, I'm going to have a little look around and uh, you're welcome to join me. Well, as I climbed down into this quarry, I did think that uh, it's probably going to take me longer to get down into here than it would be to find the stone. I mean, you'd think it would just be staring at me, but I haven't actually spotted it yet. I thought I had then, but no, um, I haven't spotted it yet. And there's not a great deal of area to cover. So I've just got up, up here to have a look just up there. Uh, I seem to have got it in my mind, fixed in my mind that it is actually in this quarry and I'm beginning to think it isn't. So I'm going to have to look at the information that I've got on this and it's very limited information and just see, it might actually be up above, uh, but I've looked around here. I might end up coming back down in here and finding it later, but I'm going to go up above here uh, where I have actually already walked, but I wasn't looking for it then. I was convinced it was down here. I don't know why, what told me that it was in here. I just took it for granted it would be in the quarry. Maybe it's up above. So we're going to go up above and look there and hopefully find it. <laughs> yes, found it. I literally nearly walked past it just as I came out of the quarry just here. And uh, I thought I'd do that little shot for you just coming out. That was how I walked out of there and I nearly walked right past it. And it's a great bit of carving. It's a great bit of lettering. It's, it looks absolutely mint. Uh, so yes, this is the rainstone and I have found it. I was just going to go up onto the top, take you up there for a look around. So it turned out to be a bit of a longer vlog than I thought. These are a little bit more difficult to find. You can easily walk past them. So, but we found it anyway. I will, of course, put the whole poem in the description below. And please put your comments on these vlogs, on the Stanza Stones, in the comments section below. If you're enjoying them, give me a like and uh, consider subscribing. I upload a vlog every week, so... If I don't see you through the week, I will see you in the next one. Bye.